Hey, how are you guys doing? I uh, just want to go over a trade I took today really quickly on CRC. Uh, it was a very good uh, example of a pattern working out beautifully. It was a gap up stock on the day. Um, but like I've said in other videos, uh, stocks that are gapping up, you can look to take them short just as often as you look to take them long. Because oftentimes people just want to take profits or the earnings reports actually weren't that good. So uh, I was watching CRC and it just started, again, trying to be patient and just hold off on taking trades too early, waiting for confirmations or directions. So I was watching it. And as you can see here on the five minute chart and also on the one minute, it was just whipping up and down, up, down, red, green, red, green. And so watching that, uh, I just saw it start to wedge and form a pattern, you know, lower highs and higher lows. And it was coming to a nice wedge. So as you see here, I drew my trend lines, right? I drew my trend lines and I just kind of sat back and waited. But I didn't wait for it to, to break the trend lines. I started to do a little predicting because I was so confident in the direction this was going to go. For a stock that was gapping up to be wedging like this, and also, especially right here, this is where I knew I wanted to get in. When it went up and tapped VWAP and rejected hard. It, it went up there and it just came right back down. There was no pausing. There was no trying to push through. It hit it and came back down. So when I saw this right here, when I saw that tap of VWAP and rejection, I knew I was going to want to take it short and I didn't want to wait for the range break. For the wedge pattern break so i took a short here risking 25 cents you know that's not too big of a risk you just position size correctly according to your own parameters so uh you know i, I went short and i set my stop above vwap i set my stop up here and i just sat back and waited now uh it, you know it took a little bit to give me some resolution it flushed down i had a small cover down here uh, i just put a limit there for 25 cents you know if i figure if i'm risking 25 cents at 25 cents a profit i'll start to take some off it was a very small cover, not even a quarter of my position. So I just want to take a nibble, just kind of cover my butt a little bit. So that's what I did there. And uh, and then I just waited and waited. And thankfully, and I knew it was going to break down lower also from the pattern because uh, when it started uh, holding below the 9 to 20, it wasn't even going back up to VWAP to, to, to tap it or the top of the uh, of the uh, descending trend line. It just stuck below the 9 and the 20 trend line you see right there. So when that was happening, I was 90% confident that it was going to break down. It ultimately did. So let me zoom in here so you can see the pattern. So as it started to break down, I had these limit orders already preset. So I had a limit order set there at the, like a little bit above 50 because don't put orders right on the half and whole numbers because that's, that's just tempting fate. Things tend to stop short. So I put a little bit above the 50 cent mark and also a little bit down here. Uh, this was a, a pre-market support level. Uh, and so I just had some limit orders placed in. And this flush down happened very quickly. It was just like order filled, order filled right back to back. But this was one giant flush. And then here uh, it started to bounce back up. And uh, I was fearing that it was just like a, a temporary uh, flush down. It, was, it wasn't going to keep continuing. So uh, as it came back up here to test the 9 and 20, I just took a small cover, not even a big cover, just a small cover just to lock in some profits, just cover my butt because – this market's been weird lately and things haven't been really following through that well. So I took a little bit off there just to cover my butt and then I waited. I waited and waited and then uh, it did look like I was fearful it was going to go back up. It did look like the move was over. But uh, thankfully it didn't. I just I kept patient, right? I didn't move my stop. Actually, no, I did move my stop. I moved my stop to my entry. So it didn't go up back up to that point, thankfully. And uh, it just did this little sideways chopping consolidation action. And then when I saw this roll start to happen, when you see this, I knew I knew it was going to continue lower for another leg. And uh, so that's what I did. I had limit order set, again, near the half and whole numbers, and it just flushed down beautifully. And uh, it was a great move. Um, I didn't trade it perfectly down here. Uh, I just got a little anxious that it uh, had done making its move. So I took this cover here. I could have waited for like 23 down here. I did have another uh, idea to have a limit set there, but I decided to take it all off here because I got a good solid meat of the move and then the stock just uh i don't even remember what it did the rest of the day i just stopped looking at it it did chop around and end up going uh lower the rest of the day so i guess i could have left a little bit on to, to capture some more of the move but ultimately it was it was a great move a great trade on a beautiful pattern so again uh, just you know follow the pattern just be patient um i'm trying myself personally to not trade within the first 15 minutes now but I just find I do so much better once uh, patterns reveal themselves to me and I can kind of, you know, draw some trend lines, you know, and see where the where the rest of the people are. It's all about my psychology, right? So um, hopefully this is a good example of a, a possible trade you guys can put into your arsenal. Uh, I think it worked out beautifully. I see this uh, wedging pattern a lot. So um, that's it. Hope you guys had a good day. If you, again, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, give me some feedback, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.